So in isolation, the Shabbat means, this line means, uh, I can cleanse my body a thousand times, but my body will never become cleansed. But if we're looking at it from a state of mind, then what this line is saying, that even though you may bathe your body, your mind will not become sochi. Socha, soch na The second soch means that by bathing, the mind will not become purified. Socha, soch, the mind itself does not become such. Je sochi lakavar. Even if you try to do this purification a hundred thousand times, the mind cannot become purified by cleaning the body. And this is the same message that comes in Sukhman Sad. The line that we've read, Soch kare dinis arat man ki mahal na tante jat. The mahal of the mind, the filth of the mind is the, the concept that we're talking about. We're not really interested in cleaning of the body, purity of the body. That's not the theme here. Man ki mahal. Gurbani says, Man mele sab kich mela, tan tote man hacha na hoy. When the mind is dirty, everything is dirty. Cleaning the body, the mind doesn't become pure. Tan to te man hacha na hoy. The mind can never be cleaned in this way. <coughs> so that's the same meaning here. Socha, soch na hovei. The purity of the mind doesn't happen. The second line is chuppa. Something to bear in mind here is the pronunciation. Sometimes people are a little bit relaxed with their lam and dulam. But when we look at the grammar of Gurbani, they actually mean different things. You often hear people saying, Soche, soch na hovei. But this is dulam. This is socha, soch na hovei. Not soche. Socha, soch na hovei. Chuppe, chup na hovei. Not chuppe. The dula means the consequence of this action. Chuppe. Chup karan nal. By being silent. By bathing. Chuppe chup na hovei. Je lai raha livtar. So chup means to remain quiet. <coughs> Excuse me. To remain silent. Chuppe, chup na hovei. The other words are a little bit more complicated. Lai raha means to remain. Lai raha. They are together. Lai raha means remain. Live means meditative pose. To be in a meditative state. Live tar, tar means single focus or a continuous single minded focus. So, je lai raha, if I remain in a single focus meditative state, even still the mind will not be silenced. which sounds quite contradictory. You might think that's actually what we're trying to achieve, is a silence of the mind. So here what is being said is, Chuppe chup na hovei. Through silence, the second chup is referring to silence of the mind. So through silence of the body alone, through silence of the body alone. And again, this is a common practice, a technique that we've seen throughout the ages, is that people 
refrain from speaking. In India, we call this mourn, to be in a state of silence. Guruji is addressing this particular technique and saying by being in a state of mourn, the mind itself doesn't stop its chatter. So simply stopping what you're saying doesn't stop your mind from having conversations. Chuppe, chup na hobi, the mind does not become silent. Even if I sit in a single focused meditative pose, if I sit in a state and I look like I'm being very silent, I look like I'm being very meditative, it doesn't mean that inside there is silence, there is shanti. It's not saying don't bathe. It's not saying don't meditate. It's not saying try and have a quieter state of mind. It's simply addressing some of the false notions that these are the only ways or that these are essential ways. And we'll go on to that. 